This is a lecture by Gina Dabrowski on color theory. Color is a component of light. Color affects us directly by modifying our thoughts, our moods, our actions, and our health. Most cult cultures use color symbolically. Da Vinci said white was representative of light, that yellow stood for the earth, that green was for water, blue indicated air, red was to signify fire, and black was to represent darkness. For example, in US cu culture, red often indicates stop. And when you see green, it means go. So what is white light? Well, white light is refracted by a prism. The light of the sun passes through the glass prism. It is separated into the bands of color that make up the visible spectrum. So you've got these colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Those colors pass through the prism and create white light. So white light refracted by the prism. What we call color is the effect on our eyes of light waves of differing wavelengths or frequencies. So when combined, these light waves make white light. White light. So an individual color are, is a component of white light. So color only exists in light, but light itself seems colorless to the human eye. Objects that appear to have color are merely reflecting the colors that are present in the light that illuminate them. Here's an experiment. Find a colored object. Okay, look at the color in light. Make sure that either the light is from lights in the room or sunlight. In any case, you want to look at the color and then turn off the light. Now what color is that object? Hue. Well, that's the name of a color in the spectrum. So for example, yellow and green are called hues. So essentially, any color you can refer to as a hue. Value. That's the lightness or darkness from white to gray to black. Now, pure hues vary in value. So red and green are middle value hues, as we see here. And pure yellow is the lightest of the hues, while violet is the darkest of the hues. So violet's the darkest color, yellow is the lightest. Shade, on the other hand, is created by uh, having black added to a hue, and it produces a shade of that hue. So for example, black added to orange is brown. Creates a brown shade. Tint. Well, you create a tint by taking white and adding it to a hue and this produces a tint. So here's an example. Lavender has had white added to it, or pardon me, violet has had white added to it, creates the tint lavender. Pink is a tint of red, so you take red, you add white, and it creates pink. That's the tint. Saturation. Saturation refers to the purity of a hue or color. So a pure hue is in its most intense form of color. Often you hear people refer to saturation as intensity. You can desaturate a hue or a color by removing its color. So to desaturate means to remove the color. Achromatic. Well, achromatic is without hue. And as a note, white and black are not true colors. 
So without hue, without color, achromatic. Chroma is color. So achroma is without color. Anytime you see that word, the letter A in front of something means without. Oftentimes. So here's Fred Wilson's piece, Arise. This would be considered achromatic. It's black and white without color. Here's an example of a color wheel. Now, we're going to be looking at this often as we continue to talk about the pigment primaries with uh, primary colors, secondary colors, complementary colors, So the pigment primaries, well, our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. There are also light primaries, which are red, orange, green, and blue, violet. And these colors produce white light when you combine these. Additive color mixture. So additive color mixture, you mix red, orange, green, and blue, violet, and it produces white light. Now subtractive color mixture is when you mix red, blue, and yellow, and this produces a dark gray or black. Here we have a painting called pointillism. It's the technique used to make this painting. It's uh, similar to four color printing and you see where it's just dots of ink, three primary colors that are put together to achieve the effect of full color. So it's an optical color mixture. This is Georges Charat, A Sunday on Le, Jet, Le, Le Grand Jeté. And here's a detail of the Surat. So you can see that it's these individual points of color that create the effect of another color. So the dot pattern in color printing, as seen here, gives that similar effect. It's really only four colors that are being used to generate a full spectrum of color. You can see these dots here placed together. It's an optical effect. Roy Lichtenstein, in his artwork in the 1960s, used dots as a way to create his artwork. 